The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Hi everyone, Puzzle Chapman here, Dreaded H's, Dreaded H's, Dreaded H's. What does that mean? That means in the Chapman Wave methodology, what we've been talking about for quite some time now is that there's a really good chance that this is the pattern that we're going to be looking at for the coming weeks. And that is where prices come down sharply, try to rally and fail at a peak A or a peak B and test the left side low. Whether they break the low decisively or hold the low is really important. And what are we looking at in the Dow? Today, it went right through the 35,639 support from about the 10th of January. I uh, went all the way down to today's low of 35,331. We're now about 50 points off that. We're down 534 points, but we've already established lower highs and lower lows as a theme that you've got to continue to uh, monitor in the daily chart because there's an H pattern that says 34,715 will be the next major support. So you want to see something else happen between now and then. And you're looking at the weekly chart. Nothing much to see here. The weekly chart's holding pretty well. Look at the S&P. The S&P right now did that dreaded H pattern. Went down to a low today of 4587.82. Um, 4.587 is five points above the 4582.24 uh, low that was made in around about January the 10th. There's an H pattern with a doji candle right at that peak A. Is that going to be a failure pattern? Days young, we'll see what happens. Weeks young, we'll see what happens. Although it's a shortened week because of yesterday's holiday. And we're looking at the, the S&P down 61 at 46.01. Uh, look at this up channel. Let me just open this up so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at this. Uh, the, it's, it gets modified slightly, but it's still an up channel of consequence. Now, what happens with up channels very often, because you're going above the 9 and 14 period exponential moving averages, you don't even need the bottom um, series of trend lines that make that channel wave inside track. should be a pro balance zone. Um, and at this particular point, what we are looking at is uh, this is really an area of key support. Why? Because the nine period moving average is just about to cross over to weekly charts. So I say just about. It could take a week or two to do. It could take a day. It could take hours. Uh, actually, the green is still quite nicely above the 14. The green is above. That's the nine period exponential moving average in the weekly chart above the 14 the daily is already in the sell mode now what we're looking at is there's some opportunity now to try to find some support to make these very weak stochastics going under 80 percent to 76 percent on balance volume is very weak so it's just that nine above the 14 that's really showing that there's still some internal uh, strength and I've got a GSTAS-C for the weekly chart notation in Chapman Wave. We've made an all-time high in January. So this is still leg, only leg B in the monthly chart. We've gone only a peak A minor pullback September of last year, of the, uh, September of 2020. And uh, for over a year, you've had higher highs every single month. Not, not every month, but pretty much every month, higher lows. And now we're looking at the first big red candle that is suggesting something spectacular has to happen for there to be an all-time high about 48.18.62 in the S&P um, chart. And we're looking at the QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle. Stepped out of the um, up channel, long-term up channel. It's it's got it went under it last week but closed nicely above it. This week we've gone underneath it. Well, the week has barely begun. We can't even talk about it as if it's with four days to four full days to go. Anything can happen. What I am saying is that we've seen many of these dreaded H patterns fail in the day in the QQQ daily chart, NDX 100 trading vehicle down 420 at 375.78. Green candle on Friday. 
so far, we've come back. It's a green candle today, but it's still negative. It's only green because we're way above the opening price. Uh, we'll see what happens. Just make it as simple as possible. A close below 364. No, it'll have to be 363. That's a long way to go. That's 12 points. 363 this week will start to signal that the QQQ finally is seeing some internal deterioration and that there's a real good chance that we're starting to see a sell mode in the daily and a sell signal in the weekly become a sell mode in the weekly chart. We'll see. Days young, weeks young. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. IWM, Russell 2000. Uh, holding quite nicely. It's down 2.36 at 211.96. When I say holding quite nicely, I mean holding above the most important low, which was around about the 20th of uh, December, uh, 208.76. Uh, we're at 212.02. We've taken out the low of the 10th of January, uh, but uh, trying to find some kind of support here. Most importantly, what we're looking at here, and I'm going to talk about this pattern in a moment uh, because it's really important. We'll look at it in the dollar. The re continuous rectangle, narrow rectangle formation can can hold us just a lot longer than your patience. Yes, you can go above it. Yes, you can go below it, but you keep coming back in. It's when you decisively break and pull away from that middle part. In this case, the middle part's 218. We're at 211.80, down 253. If there's a pullback underneath one, underneath 202, that'll be a significant uh, pull back. But you see this pattern here for the IWM uh, in the weekly chart saying we're just stuck in a range. We're at the lower end of the range. And weekly chart has made a PT. Well, look at this. Look at the dollar. The dollar is now up 0.30, up 30 ticks. We are along the dollar. 95.55. What I'd said was, in this particular pattern, let's spend a little time on it. I remember discussing this a week ago with Tom, saying that once the dollar goes below this key support of 95.52, there's a good chance that it will try to test just a little bit. It'll go back, test the inside of the rectangle. It means it goes above 95.52 right now to 95.55. And it's like it, it, it dropped so sharply and so quickly below the rectangle formation that it needs now to go back to get its hat or its suntan lotion or whatever it is because it's going south. Um, but it goes back and then it starts another move. And if that move, the next move down, takes out the low that was made, in this case, 94.63, the low of the 14th of January, then the dollar is in for a significant time and price um, kind of a rollover. So let's just look at it that way. And what does that do to the to to gold? If I can find it right here, gold. Gold is now down eight uh, eighty cents at eighteen fifteen. You see, gold doesn't have the same rectangle formation here. It's really more an arch pattern that's starting to flatten up. Yes, there is one now that's starting to form like this. But most importantly, what we're looking at is gold because it. Because gold is impacted by uh, geopolitical uh, consequences and uh, effects and affects, I consider this that gold is in play as a short-term trade, as a longer-term position play. It's trying to build a base to break to the upside, but I suspect that the sideways move between 18, maybe 40, and uh, let's call it 17. 80. Might last just a little bit longer. We'll know by the end of the week. I'll be back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today 
and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi everyone, Bowser Chapman here. This is the Tiger Nation Dow. Dow's down 522, SB's down 58. Uh, and in the dead, uh, G7 said took some profits in VA. Ka-ching! Yeah, I had drawn this uh, um, pattern out. This is the Chapman Wave left side, right side price tie match uh, uh, some time ago uh, in Boeing. I can now move this to exactly where you want it perfectly right there. That doji candle on the 20th of January at 185.26, uh, that's what you want to be looking at. And the reason why I do that is that the high that was made right there, the double top, 233.94, 232.95, back about the 15th of November, if you go left side, right side price time match and the techniques that I like to talk about, and I, I, mean, I hope to be doing a, a webinar soon. We'll be talking about these patterns when I do the overview of what to expect in 2022. If you go left side, right side price time match, then what you would do is with the Chapman Wave inside wedge target resistance line, you'll see that we've just broken above that resistance. But what it says is that by the 25th of January, that's a week from today, we should be testing the 23394 level. It's only five points above this. You could do it any time before then. But this is the pattern that I like to look at. And that says that Boeing, and I'll talk about this right now. I was going to say I'll hold it off for tomorrow, but let's just do it today. Boeing is giving us clues. Uh, earnings report on the 26th. That's the very next day. Um, in the down channel that's been in place, 446.01 was the high of March of 2019. Tumbled down to 89. Uh, this is March of 2020. 
two years later. Look at this down channel from the most recent high. That was the high of the March of 2021 at 278.57. Look, you've made lower lows and lower highs. You've made a beautiful channel to the downside. You've got the Chapman Wave inside track uh, repellent zone, which has worked so far, but not this week because we're above that and is held as a propellant line. The MACDs turned up in the weekly charts. The stochastic is at 60%, much better than it was. Not great, but it's much better. I like over 80%. On balance volume is kind of iffy. But this is what's really important. And this is this is the reason why I think doing a webinar is appropriate because we're getting close to this particular time where we start to see through the fog of the coronavirus, we start to see what could happen going into spring, then summer, and then fall. And my impression right now is that, yes, interest rates, we'll get to that in a moment, are going to be a factor. But if you look at Boeing, if you look at Jets, which is the U.S. airline, uh, this is the airline ETF of, for the American Airlines, way off the low of the 19s, it's up here in the 22 area. Uh, I shouldn't say way. I should say it's nicely off, but it's it's still got a long way to go. If you're looking at Disney, Disney off its low of 142 back on the first of uh, December at 151. Not a big deal, but big enough. Both Jets and Disney have daily peak Ds, and then they've pulled back. This is just suggesting that we've got to. If you look at six. I'll be talking about these stocks when we do the, uh, I do hopefully do a webinar very soon. Also, PD, this is Six Flags Entertainment, very um, uh, very weak since the 45 high, most recent high, down the 4188 area, having hit just gone just under 40. Six Flags Entertainment call. I'm suspecting that we are looking at the, at the possibility that as the fog. Anybody know all those uh, stories that you used to get of London back in the 20s, 30s, 40s? I would even say the 50s. Fog, remember Sherlock Holmes, uh, Hound of the Baskervilles? You got, the fog was always very thick because of the suit and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden it became much clearer. Well, the fog of the coronavirus, I think, is just hinting that there's a possibility even with variants being very um, pervasive and having a tremendous effect on the catchability of um, the virus uh, metamorphosis and into new forms the deadliness has changed it's that that part of it has really succumbed to all the, all the different uh, uh, different different methods of dealing with it, whether it's the um, uh, the shots, whether it's uh, that's the jabs, whether it's the um, boosters, whatever it is, we, we started to deal with that. So I think that we need to look out. We need to look ahead. And uh, being early is a problem because these things can still get smacked down by any news. But I think we in, the internals, Six Flags made an $8.75 low in March of 2020, screams up into the 50s, uh, drops into the four, uh, 36 area, and is now kind of in that middle of the range, or the upper range. Monthly chart would only break out if it starts to trade in the 47 area for a whole month. So in the meantime, I'm just saying, this is the time that you've got, this is where you want to be building up cash, which we've done for my Tiger, for my opening call um, newsletter, built up a lot of cash. We are short the Dow. We, we, we were short the, the semiconductor when there was that strange action on Friday so we could take it out. Uh, but I suspect that the, the semiconductor is in a digestive phase, going from the lower end to the high end. It's at the high end now, probably can start moving towards the lower end. And that's another thing, that when we start to see the chances of a chip glut, that creates its own effect and effect, some, some of it very positive and some of it negative. We'll see what happens. So question came in, uh, what about uh, CrowdStrike? up sharply today at 590 at 182. So this is what I'm saying, that there are some areas in the NASDAQ, um, in that whole spectrum of NASDAQ stocks, Crowd being one one of them, CRWD, up six at 182.75, that are trying to form bases. 
But are they ready for the big time? Well, I, I'm just thinking that I would rather give it a little more time. I want to see how uh, some bases form. But if you're looking at longer term, there are stocks like CrowdStrikers in the cybersecurity area that should have a good 2022. But does it mean it has a good 22 because it's not, not at 182 anymore, but it's now at the 162 area. And now it's going to have a really good 30% rally, which takes you to where, where we were just two weeks ago into the 200, period, 200 area. I, that's the big question. So timing is going to be really important. Looking out is going to be important. Taking heat in some areas uh, that you like, but you know, might be vulnerable shorter term. There's a lot going on. And as a direct result, we want to be looking at what's working now. And what's working now, obviously, is crude oil. Crude oil up 91 cents at 84.73. One of the reasons we've been long in oil service stock for a little while now is because this is an area, if you look at this monthly chart, the V-shaped pattern in the monthly chart, I'll be discussing this when I do a webinar, next webinar. We had uppercase A, that, that uh, Eiffel Tower from the 85, 65, October 2018. High, they went straight down. Then it went made an arch patient, and then it went down from 85, 65 in October to 18, $7.61 in April of 2020. Now we're eight four. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back from uh, 
QT Cup. All right, so the question came up, could I look at a Glaxo uh, SmithKline? Uh, this is one of the, the, the big, the one of the really very fine um, pH. Very fine uh, multinational pharmaceutical companies uh, trading at uh, forty six sixty four up a dollar seventeen, and that's the reason why I think when we're looking at it, I, I discussed this the other day. Didn't spend too much time on it, but what I said is that I think that biotech is very different to the healthcare based on where did that go? Uh, based on there we are. On the biotech, based on the, the action of the pharmaceuticals in this particular environment, and then if you look at the Pfizer's, the Merck's, the uh, Smith Klein, uh, Glaxo Smith Klein, I suspect that the latter are in the sweet spot in the sense that their product lineups kind of conform to what we're looking at here in terms of uh, what what major fund managers, that is fund, fund managers of major uh, companies are looking for in terms of both growth, safety, uh, counter trend to the general market, and if you look at this, so this gap up must be news on the gap up. But look, yes, Pfizer. Pfizer pulled back quite sharply from the 6171 high that was made around about the 20th of December. It's at 5401, but it's holding reasonably well. If you look at Merck, Merck has pulled back. Where is that? But not nearly as much. So it's the rotation through the different favorable pharmaceuticals and then you might get an unfavorable one if you get health care for instance like a Procter and Gamble uh, where was that that's I this is I, I this is the one that has me a little a little confused in terms of the Chapman methodology although it's really simple I have no choice but to call this a peak peak C uh, the last high that was made around about 165, back around about the September, the uh, December, December. Let me just put that in there. Uh, and um, it's unusual to make an all-time high peak seen in the daily, but this there's no other way I can count it. But when I looked at it very closely, I forgot to notate it, but I was looking at it fairly recently. There are three times where you could have given this a phantom peak. Look, on the 7th of December for, for Procter & Gamble, the high was 152.58. The very next day, it was 152.66. That's eight cents. Yep. Uh, it, I mean, there's very little difference. So that could have been a phantom peak. Then you got it again right... Where was it? Uh... Yeah, and then you got it again at the top, where you went to 165.32 on the 5th of January, and then 165.20 on, the, um, on the 6th. So that is a peak C. If there's one day in between, and then we got that fractional low, I could have gone peak C1, C2. Everything about it says that that's acting like a peak D, but even then it's holding pretty well, down 355 today at 156. So I, I am saying that there's a chance that we're looking at some areas and then stocks within areas that hold up a lot better. So I'm saying that the, the GlaxoSmith GSK, <coughs> Excuse me, GSK. Whoops, let's put it over here. Up oh, was GSK. Yep, it was. Uh, GSK is now leading the pack. Now let's just see if that whole um, theory that I've had about so many stocks, indexes, uh, um, even commodities, retesting previous highs and then stalling at that level. Let's see if the doji candle high of January of 2020 with a high of 48.25, it's just uh, less than two points away, $1.75 away, um, if that's going to occur right now. 
We'll see what happens. And the high today so far is 4685. So uh, that's what we're looking at. And then you get some really ugly stocks, stocks that were absolutely darlings, uh, like Myrna, Moderna, Inc., Biotech, COVID, other areas. 497.49 was the all time high. This is a stock that was just kind of doodling around, just kind of messing around in the single digits at some point a couple of years ago. Screams as the favorite, and all of a sudden stalls. Uh, that was around about July, August. Was that August? Yep, August, the week of the 13th, 479, 497.49. Uh, and now we're trading at 194, 194 down 10 just today. Uh, and that's that's the thing. When I was looking at crowd, you got to put it into the same category of darlings that became undarlings. And when they do that, when they're out of favor, there is no bottom until there's a new story, until there's a, a cohesion of, of fundamentals, technicals, and some extraneous event that really just puts things together for them to start not necessarily a rocket ship to the upside, but a very good just a, 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 a push that takes them quicker and quicker to new higher highs and higher lows within the context of a digestive phase uh, relief rally. And then you have to deal with it because it could have become more. What, where, where, where are we going? What are we doing? So, OK, so I've got that out the way. I had a couple of questions that came in, and I want to just deal with them right now. Oh, 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 I said on Monday I would look at, oh, uh, what was it? Oh, oh, that's right. So I, I've had a couple of questions over the years, especially folks in, in uh, England, uh, London or the surrounding areas. Uh, we've got uh, people that listen to us all around the world. So I've had questions over the years uh, essentially saying, look, I know for your um, opening call newsletter, you have some really great picks, but often you choose, just to be a little safe, you choose the generic and you go to the ETF. Here, it's very difficult for us to be able to buy the ETF unless we have an American account. We can set it up, but is there another way around that? So what I've done over the years is I've tried to find stocks that are within the category that I like the best, that maybe those stocks could be the stocks that are basically a proxy for what I'd be looking at. But when it gets to the Dow, the proxy that I would use is we are it, the Dow is the Dow 30. It's not the industrials anymore. It is so mixed that is kind of it's it kind of hard. Look, Caterpillar has been an absolute winner for quite some time. Even today, it's only down 23 cents at 228.72. So at what point would I have gone long Caterpillar? We've liked it for a while, but I actually haven't put it in the news there as a play. Um, I, don't, I don't know. But that might be one of the ways that I have to start looking at it for people like that who, who are in a different country and are just not able to get the ETFs that I like to look at. And we might have to choose a particular stock that becomes a proxy. That is difficult to do because each, even there, they go in and out of favor. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's down 531, and SP's down 6400. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. 
With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, let me just write this in. What does O... V I O O O Vinton O Vinton O Vin O Vin Ten Oh no Tiv <laughs> Oh wow this is a hard one O Vin Tiv Inc Do uh, formerly Encal Encarna Corporation hydrocarbon exploration production company organized in Delaware and headquartered in Denver United States. And Connor back again. Oh, man. This is a stock we used to know very well. Uh, peak A, B, C1, C2, almost a D. Comes back down. Now it's in leg F with the chapel wave inside. Uh, that's right. It could be an instant restart right there. So it's trading at 41.07, down 26. I like this very much. Now it has recycled. I don't know if this is an F or it's a brand new B. In the, in the daily, the weekly chart is still very strong price-wise, but the on-balance volume has only just turned up and the stochastics way down at 70%, not over 80%, 80% and the on-balance volume is uh, rising but not over overbought or anything like that. So, so far, this is all flat stochastic in the daily. This is acting very well, down 20 cents, 41.13. What was the question? Was there a question? Uh, OVV, OVV. Uh, where did we go here? I saw it. Uh, oh, hi, Belzer. How much higher do you think OVV might go? Is it in leg F slash B in at 38.81? Hoo, hoo, hoo. Nice. We've got a lot of people that do very good work on the Chapman methodology. Yes, I am going to put the alternate count in here because it's very important that we don't get too negative too quickly because crude oil is still acting very well. Where do, let me just see if I can do this in my Chapman Wave automated O V I V, O O V I V. Oh no, O V V V. O V V, O V V. Uh, what am I looking at here? O V V, O V V. Click. There you go. Forty-two thirty-one is the Chapman Wave automated um, resistance level. Doesn't have to stop there very often. That becomes a, a target. Um, and a magnet, and then we start to see 42 in the weekly chart, 40, we over 40.98 in the 10 minute chart, and the 120 minute chart, we passed the 40.14 area, and the monthly chart doesn't have anything uh, 
uh, because we're above the 37.50. That is the month with uh, another week and a half, two weeks to go. So, uh, yeah, this is what it says, that there should be some resistance in the in the low 42s. But in the meantime, I would I would suggest to you that because... Oops, I didn't want to do that. I would suggest to you that because crude oil... There we go... Um, has also recycled with a chance of F slash B, and it is nicely above the left side high that was the high of 82, was it 82 or 8150? 80, oh, 83.66 back in October, the week of the 29th. So far, it's above that. So the double top action is just something to note, note because it, so far, it's above that. The week has just begun. We've got 85.65, so we're getting close to some kind of resistance area in oil. If you look at the XLE, let's take them together because they kind of move together. Leg E in the um, monthly chart, way above the Chamber Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. You're going to the daily chart. Why did I not finish doing that? Oh, I, I, it's leg C, I believe, in the weekly chart. I don't want to do anything just quickly off the top of my head. Let's just go right here. So... Energy is moving higher. A eh? oh, we've got a few charts that look like this. This is only leg B in the in the daily chart. Ay, yeah, yeah. 59.41 was the high of the 26th of October. We're trading right now at 65.005, up 54 cents sharply above. That makes that whole area of the 63 to uh, 62 area at least shorter term support. And this is what's really impacting the market. If you go to the high that was made uh, the week of the 29th of October, 59.41, the next high was 59.40. Now, over the years, I've always wondered, what do I do with, with peaks that look like you're going to a D? And if you go back, you've got two parallel highs. I, at peak C, we can go peak C1 and peak C2. That's like a phantom peak D. But what do you do at a B? And what I've done over the years is I've, I've because I do things by repet re repeating and the repetitive nature of things, tell me whether or not they succeed or not. And what I've done over the years is I've done this, I've made this, change the color just momentarily. I don't like to use a phantom B. That's really, that's pushing it a little bit. But I do that just as a point, as if I was doing research, and then I make that B to say that that really, by two pennies, it could have been a C. And the leg that we've got right now might be a D. I always want to get to the D quicker um, and be as conservative as possible to be ready for a sharp decline. And that just says to me in the XLE, the monthly is very strong. The weekly is technically very strong. The daily is flat at 95% in the stochastic and very strong. Don't get ahead of the game, and therefore you can consider it only as more an, as a research project to say, does this become peak B, and this becomes, actually it's a blue B, and it will be a phantom peak C right here. Does that happen or not? So what I'm going to do is go back to my original notations that I would do, and that would say, that is a B. This is just something to keep in mind that that C, a tad below, could be a C, but it's not. It technically, it's absolutely not. It has the characteristic that it could be, but it isn't. So this is really your C, but I might, might think that uh, have an alternate count. Those are the few times that I I'm fudge something. But the, all within the strictures, all within the rules of the Chapman Wave methodology. There is nothing to do here. This will be a, this is a C. I'm just putting it in to say, hey, it just missed, and it had the characteristic of a C. What if? And that's all. So there's a leg B in the in the XLE, the S and P Select Energy Spider Fund. Fabulous action, way above the nine period moving average, way above the fourteen. And the MACD is very strong. The histogram is only now starting to narrow just a little bit. That means that the nine is getting a little bit uh, 
between the distance between the nine and the slow moving average, the 26, is just starting to narrow a tad. But wow, when you get 95% and flat in the stochastic, it's going to take a huge amount to turn that and get it down under 80%. It's going to take a huge amount to get the price. Uh, the nine period moving average to go negative under the 14 period moving average, you'd probably have to see a move in the 59.30 to 58.10 area and very quickly to get that negative. So energy is in play. And that's the reason why I'm, I was hoping to put together some kind of a, um, a webinar coming up you know, maybe in a week or so, because this is these are really important statistics that we need to look at what is working. What is not worth? We've got one more segment to go. We've got a bunch of questions coming in here. XLU. XLU is the utility ETF. XLU is down from the peak F top that it made just under 72 to 68 right now. I'll be back. Basil Chapman Dow's down 550 and we'll be back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, right, well, this is the last segment to go. I was listening to a bunch of other things, but let me rather do this. What we're looking at here is FCX, Freeport McMurray. Remember, we talk about these double tops, the way... It's just uncanny how many stocks and indexes have gone back to almost the same, to the penny sometimes, the same level on the left side. 4610 was the, all -time, was the high on, I think it was an all-time high, on the 14th of May, the week of the 14th of May in F Freeport McMoran. Uh, not all-time high. Wow, I forgot it went all the way to 60 back in 2011. Um, yeah, so 
here we are at 46.20 is the high of the day, <laughs> 10 cents above. Uh, and the question was, uh, do I take, uh, uh, do I take, what do I, what was the question? Uh, oh, I lost the question. Uh, do I take, what do I do? Uh, I'm not going to tell you what you do because you got in and you've done very, very well. What I am going to say is this is probably the area and it's got a G slash C in the week, daily chart. Only a C in the weekly chart. It's still really positive. Freeport, McMoran, uh, Inc., Copper, and um, really important stock in that area. 45.39 up $1.31. Why not just make yourself comfortable? Take a little bit off. Whatever you're comfortable with, you can take take it off. Keep your core position. It's still in the sweet spot. Um, I, I, you know, that's a better thing. And then you can think about what you want to do. At least you're using money management. Um, and that's just, you know, that's, that's the way I'd see it. Next question I had was uh, Roblox, uh, Roblox, uh, R-B-L-X. We haven't had this for ages and ages. This gaming platform, game creation system, way down from the high of the 140 area, uh, last um, last uh, fall and it, it tumbles to about a fall is now at 80.30 and the question is where do you start to get into that I'm just going to say cheap these as trades if you're interested at all don't think of these as a buy and hold just yet I think they will be in 2022 but just be real careful like crowd like Roblox Roblox like Roblox um, trading at $25.20. Cheat them as trades at this position. I'll be back tomorrow. Stay tuned for Harry Pizza